हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक यूनिट नंबर 5 यूनिट नंबर 5 मेजरिंग इंटरनल प्रोडक्ट एट्रिब्यूट साइज सो इंटरनल प्रोडक्ट एट्रिब्यूट डिस्कस द सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोडक्ट इन अ वे व्हिच इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द प्रोडक्ट इटसेल्फ the major reason of measuring internal product attributes is that it will help to monitor the product and control the product during the development the internal product attributes is divided into two categories size and structure basically size is used to take the efforts needed to create means size describe why we take the efforts to create the software product and the structure of product plays an important role to design and maintenance of the product <clears throat> so measuring the size the size can be measured size can be measured in a three properties length functionality and complexity length it is nothing but the physical size of the product functionality it describes the function supplied by the product to the user and complexity is described basically into four parts problem algorithmic structural and cognitive problem complexity describes the underlying problem means depth of the problem algorithmic complexity describes how problems are solved for the step by step instructions structural complexity it is <clears throat> major how we implement the algorithm for developing the software product and cognitive complexity is basically used to understanding the software product length the length in a size measurement is useful for predicting the effort which is needed for production again length attributes is divided into three parts specification design and code so specification and design in depends upon the documents usually combining the part of text graphs and special mathematical diagrams or symbols the diagrams in the documents have uniform syntax such as labels diagrams data flow diagrams so both specification and design document consists of text and diagrams and it is depends upon the length measured in terms of how many number of pairs representing a text length and the diagram length for this diagram length various measurements are used which is based on the atomic objects are defined in different types of diagrams and symbols atomic objects are nothing but data flow diagram transition diagram those are processes external entities data source and data flows the third important aspect of the length is nothing but code so code is produced in different ways such as procedural language object orientation and visual programming the line of code is measured which is based on one formula that is nothing but loc is equal to nclc plus cloc nclc is nothing but non commented line of codes in a source code plus commented of line of code because the source code is based on the two types we can write the statements or instructions which is required to require to develop the desired output or desired outcome and in that source code we can mention the line of instruction or line of statement in both ways we can write the line of code with having functions and procedures and some line of code we have included we can pass the comment and means why we use or implement this procedure and parts for implementing for obtaining the observed code so apart from the line of code the alternative such as size and complexity suggested by the hstl can also be used for measuring the length <coughs> then another aspect of the size is functionality functionality it gives the measure of product size there are also many many various different methods to measure the functionality of software products basic measurement of the functionality is nothing but function point which patras is provide a standardization method for measuring the various functions of software applications it is basically measured in the user point of view so functional point is based on, sorry functionality is based on the function point so what is the definition of function point is the most widespread functional type matrix is suitable for quantifying a software application it is based on five users identical and logical functions which are divided into two data function types and three transactional function types for a given software application each of these elements is quantified and weighted counting its characteristics elements such as file references or logical fields so 
basically measuring the functional point matrices. They are applying one method that is called as Albert's functional point method. It is considered the 5U functional point in user's point of view. So first is EI. EI nothing but external inputs. It is basically nothing but elementary process in which the data passes across the boundary from outside to inside. So let us take an example. When we enter into a library database system, for purchasing a book or getting a book, we need to a library card. So EO is number of external output. It is elementary process in which derived data passes across boundary from inside to outside. <clears throat> so for example, of library database management system, the library can display the library can display <clears throat> display the data list of books checked out to a background. EQ is a number of external queries. There are elementary processes in which both input and output components that result in a data they travel from one or more internal logical files and external interface files. For example, library database system determine what books are currently checked out to. ILF it is nothing but internal log files. Identifiable groups of logically related data that resides entirely within the application's boundary that are maintained through external inputs. For example, in a library database system, the files or books are available in a library. And the ELF is nothing but number of external log files. <clears throat> there are user identifiable groups of logically related data that are used for references purpose only and which resides entirely outside the system. For example, the file that contains transactions in the library billing system. So functional point is based on <coughs> UFC into TCF. According with the user point of view, these five components, it will be calculated based on the UFC plus TCF. Complexity, the third basic component of the internal size attributes of the software measurement is nothing but complexity. It is a separate component of size. It will consist of two parts, complexity measured of a problem means the amount of resources required for an optimal solution to the problem means according to the solution of problem how many amount of resources are required and complexity of the solutions it is those resources needed to implement a particular solution it has two aspects time complexity and space complexity time complexity is required the resources of computer time and space complexity require the computer memory reuse so nowadays we have regularly used some key like the libraries of mathematical routines, operating system, compilers, database management system. Rather than writing our own many things in the internet with a computer, we have used regularly these things in reuse. So, same way the reuse of software that is nothing but including requirements, design, documentation, test data, improves our productivity and quality, allowing us to concentrate on new problems rather than counting to solve over once again. So notation of extent of reuse measured on an ordinal scale by software engineering laboratory in the following way. Reuse code, it is measured in the unit without any changes. So it is categorized into three parts. Slightly modified, extensively modified, and new. Slightly modified means what? Fewer than 25% of the lines code in the unit were modified. Extensively modified, 25% or more than lines of the course were modified. And new months, none of code comes from previously constructed units. 